re mi, let us pray. Oh God, we are thankful for protection and your help. We are thankful for giving us the gift of life, even now as we start the service may be with us. For in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let us join the praise and worship team. You're indescribable in every way You search me out and now I'm caught up in your grace I heard my name across the ocean You pulled me closer, the current changed You showed me life, a new horizon A silver lining, a brand new day
Let's pray. Our dear everlasting King of all the glory come before you today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for covering us with your blood. We don't take anything for granted. We want to pray that you may forgive us any sin that you have done. Namely and knowingly, Father, may you forgive us. And also make us to be safe, oh dear Lord, from COVID. And also thank you for taking us this far, dear Lord. May you make the church to continue expanding, dear Lord, so that we may learn about you, God, Father. And also be with us and cover us with your blood. Take care of us this day. And as you see, tomorrow we will not forget to say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen and amen. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you're fine. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful week. Welcome to today's lesson. And like we always do, let's start by thanking Esperance for praying for us and the boys and girls in the worship team who led us so well in a time of worship and praise. Thank you, boys and girls. We truly appreciate you, and may God bless you. My name is Teacher Carol, and I'm excited, very excited, to be with you today and to teach you the lesson of today. So I hope you're ready with your notebook, your Bible, and your pen, because you will need them as we, as we go um, ahead in our lesson. Now, last week, we learned a name of God, Jehovah Shama. Do you remember what it means? Yes, Jehovah or the Lord is there. The Lord is ever present and he's with us so we need not be afraid or be fearful. And by the way, many of you sent in your craft work that Teacher Carol had given us to do. I want us to take a look together and see what you sent. Done, boys and girls. Did you see all that great work? Please keep it up. That was excellent. And we know that when you do your craft work and learn the memory work, you're hiding God's word in your heart. Good job. Now, the last uh, few weeks, we have learned many names of God. In fact, we've learned 11 of them. We know 11 of them. Do you remember all of them? Yes. Okay, let's say them together. Jehovah, I am. Adonai, Elohim. Jehovah, Jireh. Jehovah, Rapha. Uh -huh. Abba, Father. Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Sidkenu, Jehovah, Rohi, and Jehovah, Shama. Well done, excellent. Now, all these names that we've learned about God, actually they teach us and they have taught us a lot about our God. Now we know more about who he is, and we know about his nature and his character. We know that he is the creator of everything. 
we know that he is our father. We know that he gives us peace, he makes us righteous, and it is God, Jehovah, who heals us when we are sick. He is the one who gives us victory over our enemies and sin, and he is always, always with us. What a wonderful and awesome God. Now, I want to ask you something, boys and girls. What do you think of our God who can do all these things and so, so much more? Do you think he's a small God with little strength? Do you think he's mighty and strong and powerful? Hmm. Now today, we are going to learn one more name of God. Now, it is the last name we will learn in this series. It is not the last name of God. God has many other names, but it is the last name we will learn in this series. And this name is El Shaddai. El Shaddai. This name is pronounced El Shaddai. El Shaddai. You can say it with me, boys and girls. El Shaddai. Very good. Now, El Shaddai means God Almighty, the all-powerful and mighty God. El Shaddai, God, has great power and strength, and he can do whatever he plans to do. He's able to do all that he plans to do. Now, nothing is too hard for El Shaddai, and nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible for him. No one can defeat him, and nothing can defeat him. And in our Bible story today, we are going to see how El Shaddai showed his great power to the children of Israel. And our Bible story is from the book of Exodus chapter 14. I'd like you to turn there with me. Boys and girls, remember the way God had appeared to Moses in a burning bush and sent him down to Egypt to go and bring out the children of Israel who had been there for many years and had suffered as slaves. Now Moses obeyed God and he went to Egypt. The pharaoh, or the king of Egypt, had refused to let the Israelites go. But after he saw all the miracles that God performed, he finally let them go. So Moses and the children of Israel got everything that they owned, their cows, their sheep, their camels, everything. And they left Egypt. They left and they went to this place. Uh, we are told that they were in the desert, in the wilderness, and they camped near a place that was at the Red Sea, where God had told them to come. Now, the children were of Israel were very happy that they were finally free, and God had taken care of them and protected them while they were in the desert. Back in Egypt. Do you know what happened? Pharaoh changed his mind. He asked himself, who is going to do all the work that the slaves were doing? And so he decided he, was, he would go chase after them and bring them back to Egypt to be his slaves once again. So he asked for his chariot to be made ready he got together his whole army and together they left Egypt and went chasing after the Israelites. Now the Israelites were at their camp and they looked and saw, the Bible tells us, they saw the army, the Egyptian army coming towards them and they were filled with fear. Do you know why? Because the place they were camped at, where they were, 
was between the mountains and the Red Sea. And so there was nowhere for them to run to. There was nowhere to escape. And the Egyptian army was coming for them. They were terrified. They were scared. So what did they do? They cried out to God to help them. And Moses told them not to fear. He told them to wait and to watch and see what God would do to save them from the army that was coming to attack them. Now God, the Bible tells us that God told Moses exactly what to do so that the Egyptians and even the Israelites could know that he is almighty God. Now, boys and girls, I want us to watch this clip together and see what happened next. This staff, you shall do my wonders.
wow, boys and girls, did you see how El Shaddai, God Almighty, parted the Red Sea and made a way for the Israelites to cross to the other side? Yes. Now, can you and I part a a sea or even a river for that matter? No, it is impossible. But for God Almighty, nothing is impossible. Did you see what happened to the Egyptians when they tried to chase after the Israelites? Yes, they were all drowned and not even one was left alive. Now that day, the Israelites saw the great and mighty power of El Shaddai when he saved them from the Egyptian army. And so they put their trust in him and they put their faith in him and they respected their God all the more. Now, boys and girls, are there things or situations in your life at home or even in school that are hard or even seem impossible. Maybe you've prayed for something for a long time and it seems it is impossible or it will never come to be. Now do not give up. Don't give up praying to El Shaddai. He hears and he answers, okay? Now some of us have even been told that we can never do well in school, or we can never do well in a certain subject, or even told that um, we will never get something we've asked God for because it seems impossible. Some people have even said we will never change our behavior. Now, boys and girls, remember, El Shaddai, the Almighty God, is able to do anything and is able to help us. The same way he parted the Red Sea, something that was impossible, he's able to help us in our schoolwork, in anything that we need to change in ourselves, because he has all the power. And so we should put our trust in him and our faith in him. Even now when we have this virus, the coronavirus, God is bigger, he's almighty. He's able to even take it away. So we keep trusting him and believing in him. Now, God powerfully saves those who belong to him. And he, almighty God, is able to save us from the power of sin when we put our trust in Christ Jesus. Now, would you want to become a child of God by receiving Jesus in your heart? If you're there, you'd like to, please pray this prayer with me and mean it in your heart. Almighty God, I am sorry for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died and rose again to take away my sins. Dear God, forgive me and make me your child. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. If you've made that prayer, you belong to God, you're a child of God. And welcome to the family of God. Great. Now, boys and girls, we are going to learn our memory verse. Our memory verse. Our memory verse is from the Bible. It's from the book of Genesis chapter 17 and verse 1. It is God speaking to Abraham and telling him his name. And this is what the verse says. I am El Shaddai, God Almighty. So let's say that together. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. I am El Shaddai, God Almighty. Let's say that again, boys and girls. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 1. I am El Shaddai, God Almighty. God Almighty. Great. 
Well done, boys and girls. Now it's time for our craft work. And I'm going to tell you what you need to make the Red Sea that God parted. Boys and girls, for our craft, you will need a um, pair of scissors, colored pencils or paint, and uh, plain paper or manila paper. So take your paper and fold uh, from the ends so that they meet in the middle like that. And then on the edge of these two sides, draw waves of the sea. These are waves of the sea. And then cut along those lines. Okay. Now, in, inside, you're going to draw a cross. The cross to remind us that Jesus is the one who made the way for us to go or to get to the Father, God the Father. And here we're going to write our memory verse. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. Okay? Then when you're done, I want you to color. This will be the walls of water. You remember when God parted the sea? So you color this side, the color of water. And this is the dry ground where the children of Israel crossed. Good. I want to show you mine that I had made earlier on. Okay. So it will look something like this or even better. I know you can make something even better. All right. So write the memory verse, draw the cross, color, do your water um, and the ground, the dry ground where they walked. And on top, you can write that nothing is impossible for El Shaddai. He is God Almighty. Great. And of course, when you're done, please take a picture, send to your pastor or to your children's pastor, and they'll send it to us. Now, we've come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls. We'd like to pray together uh, so that we can end the lesson well. So let us pray. Our loving Father, you are El Shaddai, the all-powerful and mighty God. We thank you for revealing yourself to us as we have learned your different names. And Father, we know that you can do all things according to your perfect will and plan. Thank you, Abba Father, for all you do for us and for all your blessings. Today, Lord, we choose to trust in you because we know that nothing is impossible for you. Increase our faith so that we are able to wait patiently on you in all our situations. Bless us in this coming week, and we thank you for hearing our prayer. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you for being attentive, and until next time, bye!
Yeah.